Hi everyone, today we're going to discuss the hand tool in Adobe Illustrator, and a little later on, we're also going to discuss the print tiling tool. The hand tool is a very simple tool to use, and it's often overlooked because people think that they don't need to use it so much, but it actually can really help you to navigate around your artboard quickly. And when you're working on your designs, time is of the essence. There's always some deadline that you have to meet. So learning how to do things in a quick and efficient manner is really important, and the hand tool can save you some time. So let's get right into it. To use your hand tool, you first need to locate it. It's located right next to the zoom tool, right over here. And you can't miss it because it looks like a hand. So in order to use this tool, you can start by clicking on the tool, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is H. But there's another shortcut, which is just pressing on the space bar. Stay tuned because I'm going to explain the difference between those two shortcuts in a little while. But first, let's discuss the two functions of the hand tool and how to use it. So the hand tool is often used along with the zoom tool, which we learned about in another tutorial. If you haven't seen that one yet, make sure to click on the link below to watch it. So let's zoom in on our artwork here. And let's say that I've zoomed in and I'm doing whatever I need to do. And now I'm finished zooming in. And I wanna get my artboard to fit back on the screen again without having to click multiple times. Now you know that if you've zoomed in this much, you're going to have to now zoom out and that can take a little bit of time. So let's just zoom back in. If you wanna just quickly fit your artboard right back on the screen in one shot, all you have to do is double click on the hand tool and it brings your artboard back to a size that fits your screen. No need for multiple clicking to zoom out. So that's the first function. The other function is that the hand tool allows you to drag your artboard around to any place that you want it. And this can really come in handy because you're gonna be working on certain parts of your artwork, but then you might wanna quickly just scoot over to another part of your artboard. And then you might wanna go over to another part quickly. So using the hand tool to move your artboard around can make that very quick and easy. So the way that it works is that you select your hand tool and you click your mouse down once and you'll see that the hand tool changes. It looks like it's grabbing onto your paper. So that's how you know that it's gripped onto your paper and when you move your mouse while holding it down it enables you to drag your artboard around. Simple right? So I told you earlier that I was going to explain the difference between the two shortcuts for the hand tool. So when you're working on your art, you're going to be switching around between a lot of different tools within your toolbar. So let's say that we're working with the rectangle tool. So I'm using the rectangle tool and let's say that I want to use my hand tool now to drag my artboard around. So if I click on the H shortcut, it's going to change my tool to the hand tool and then I can use it. And now I've done what I want to do with the hand tool. But in order to go back to the rectangle tool, I'll have to reselect that rectangle tool. And now I can use that. But if I use the other method where I press down the space bar to get my hand tool instead, let's try that and see what happens. I'm pressing down the space bar and it becomes the hand tool. And I continue to press the space bar as I do whatever it is that I wanted to do with the hand tool. So now I'm done with the hand tool. And when I release the space bar, it automatically goes back to the last tool that I was using, which is the rectangle tool. And that's the difference between the H shortcut and the space bar shortcut. The H shortcut changes your tool to the hand tool until you change it to another tool. And with the spacebar shortcut, as soon as you finish using your hand tool and release the spacebar, it will automatically go back to the last tool that you were using without you having to select it. So that's everything about the hand tool. Now let's talk about the other tool that we'll be discussing in this tutorial, which is the print tiling tool. If you go over to your hand tool, you'll see that there is a black arrow in the bottom corner of the hand tool. And that means that there's another tool underneath it. So when we click on that, we see that underneath the hand tool is the print tiling tool. And what this allows you to do is to select which area of your artboard you want printed out. So I have a big artboard here that's bigger than my printing size. And I just want to print some of these tank tops out, but not all of them. So if I want to select, let's say, these center tank tops, what I'm going to do is click on the bottom left corner of where I want to print. So I'm clicking right over here. And when I just click once with my mouse, these two dotted line boxes appear. This is showing me the print area that I've just selected. So when I go up to File, Print, 
you'll see that everything that's in my print preview is exactly what is within this print tiling box on my artboard. And then I just have to click print and it'll print that area. And if I want to select another part of my artboard, all I have to do is click on the bottom left corner of the area that I want to print. So if I want to print this group out now, I'll click on the bottom left corner approximately and everything that's within these two dotted line boxes is what's going to print. So as you can see here, this tank top is kind of out of the print area a little bit. So I can just adjust that by just clicking up just a little. And then I'll do file print. And as you can see, now these tank tops that I selected are in the print area. And you can also change your print area by dragging your artboard around within this print preview box and then click print. So it's basically just gonna print any area that you've selected. And if you want to get rid of the print tiling, you just go up to view and click on hide print tiling and your box is gone. So that's how you use the print tiling tool. So the hand tool and the print tiling tool Two very simple tools that will help you to navigate around your artboard and set your print area quickly and efficiently. Hope you like this tutorial, guys. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next tutorial.